What's going on, guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. It is Thursday, October 5th, 2023, and I have another emergency alert to share with you guys. Right now, it is 5 22 p.m. Eastern Time here in the United States, and we just had two nuclear bombers airborne over the southern United States. We had B 52s up in the air at the same time, two of them, one over northwestern Louisiana and one over the Ozark Mountains of uh, northern Arkansas. So I want to show you guys the flight paths of those. And in addition to those two B-52s, we also had a nuclear war command and control plane that was up in the air over Iowa and Nebraska, basically all afternoon and all morning which is just extremely unusual for an E6 to be airborne for that long over the Midwest, plus two nuclear bombers at the same time doing loops. Very, very unusual, guys, okay? And uh, yesterday we had several nuclear war command and control planes airborne. So guys, things are really, really escalating. We have major breaking news coming from Russia uh, apparently, Russia successfully tested their nuclear-powered cruise missile uh, recently, and this was stated by the state news agency RIA Novosti. That's a Russian government-funded news agency, and uh, they said that apparently this nuclear-powered cruise missile was already uh, tested, okay, and this nuclear powered cruise missile has global range okay and it is nuclear armed so this this thing can basically fly very long periods of time because it's nuclear powered so it has an extremely long range and it's a cruise missile so it cannot be detected when it's launched okay so this is just absolutely insane and that's why we had two constant phoenix planes airborne and a combat sentinel plane airborne last night. Uh, one went all the way up to the Russian Arctic. Now we know why. So it looks like that test did already occur, apparently, and uh, it was successful. Now, Russia did block off a large area of the Russian Arctic uh, for some kind of test over the weekend and into early next week, okay? Um, so I want to just read some Quotes from uh, Vladimir Putin's speech today at the Valdai Forum in Sochi. He said some very interesting things. But before I do that, I just wanted to go through some of these flight paths with you guys. So here we have the two nuclear bombers that were airborne plus the E-6. And here's just a closer look at the two B-52s. Okay, one was flying over Wachita National Forest in Arkansas and one was flying over uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, which is where Barksdale Air Force Base is. Now, Barksdale Air Force Base is the home of Air Force Global Strike Command. So that's the headquarters for the air leg of our nuclear triad. Okay, that's the Air Force's headquarters for the nuclear triad. So uh, the Air Force manages our silo-based missiles and they also manage our bomber force, okay? So that's the headquarters for, for the Air Force Global Strike Command. Um, so very interesting to have two of these airborne at the same time, plus an E-6. Uh, extremely unusual, guys. I can't stress to you how unusual this is. Very, very rare, uh, especially with everything that's been going on the last two days with these nuclear war drills in Russia and here in the US, the emergency alert system test here. Russia did an emergency alert system test. They also tested their air raid sirens. They did a full scale nuclear readiness, nuclear war readiness exercise, okay, which involved uh, kids at schools practicing donning gas masks, uh, testing bunkers, testing air raid sirens. Uh, going through the motions of decontaminating areas and and uh, measuring radiation and and um, you know monitoring radiation levels, 
So, uh, guys, Russia is preparing for a worst case scenario. That's why they're doing these exercises. Okay. Um, in my opinion, Putin is going to do something drastic pretty soon. That's why he's going to China. And that's why he did these nuclear war exercises, uh, because he wants to make sure Russia is prepared before he escalates to the next level. Okay. And I'm going to read to you what he said today, which just confirms everything that I've been uh, telling you guys for weeks and months and even the last two years that Putin is eventually going to have to do something drastic because he cannot continue this war against Ukraine because Ukraine is getting support from the West and economically the West is, is a powerhouse and Russia cannot compete against the West. Okay, Russia's economy, their GDP is the same as Spain. Okay, so do you think if Spain invaded France and everybody in the West, all of NATO plus the US was supporting France, do you think Spain would have a chance? I don't think so. Okay, eventually they run out of money, they run out of equipment, and that's it. You know, if you don't have an economy and you can't continue to produce things, that's it. You know, you don't have enough equipment to continue. And Putin's not stupid, he knows that. And so he's going to have to do something drastic. That's why I think he's going to China. Uh, here's a closer look at that E-6, the nuclear war command and control plane that was airborne over Iowa and Nebraska. Okay, just doing this boomerang pattern basically all afternoon. And uh, we also have this uh, picture that was uh, released from uh, Germany. It shows over 100 armored personnel carriers uh, moving to Berlin for some reason. This was reported by a German newspaper. They were moved from Saxony to Berlin. Okay, this is very reminiscent of the Cold War. Okay, when they were fortifying West Germany, uh, you know, it's, it's very, very similar. Okay, let me read to you guys what uh, Vladimir Putin said today. Uh, he said, Russia's response to any nuclear attack by any other party will not allow it to survive. If Western weapons deliveries to Ukraine stop, it will only have a week left to live. That's what he said about Ukraine. Only a week left to live if Western weapons stop going to Ukraine. And then here he talks about the West. He said, there is permanently increasing military and political pressure. We have to respond. I have said many times that it was not us who started the war in Ukraine. On the contrary, we are trying to end it. The West has lost the sense of reality. Ukrainian conflict is not about territories. The issue is about global order. Okay, so Putin is laying it out right there. He doesn't really care so much about how much land he has. It's not about a land grab. It's the principle behind the Ukraine. It's, it's about the balance of power between NATO and Russia. OK, um, so pretty interesting words there from uh, Vladimir Putin. And we have some new satellite images coming out. Uh, these were published by The Wall Street Journal, and they show the Russian Black Sea Fleet basically leaving their uh, historic base. This video is sponsored by Alps Solar Generators. Guys, I have two Alps solar generators. I have their 2400 watt and their 600 watt generators. I did a video review of their 600 watt generator and I did a test with their 100 watt solar panel. And I can tell you that Alps generators are top notch and their price is really good. Now, Alps has given me a 5% discount code to offer to you guys through the rest of this month, October 2023. So if you type in NY Prepper, when you check out in the discount code box, you'll get 5% off anything in their store. There's a link to their store in the description below this video, but it's just alps.com, O-U-P-E-S.com. I highly recommend their solar generators and also their solar panels. Their solar panels are extremely efficient. I was able to charge my 600 watt Alps solar generator with their 100 watt solar panel in just eight hours. And they also have their mega series, which are giant solar generators that have 4,000 watts 
of capacity, which is just ridiculous. And if you're going to buy some of their larger solar generators, definitely use my 5% discount code because you will save a few hundred dollars. Just wanted to mention this to you guys, alps.com. They're having a special sale for you guys. Okay. Use my promo code NYPREPPER when you check out for 5% off. And so they've moved a lot of their, or almost all of their warships from uh, Crimea to Novorossiysk. Okay, and uh, just very, very interesting. Uh, so here you can see some of these same warships that were in Crimea now are in Novorossiysk. All right. I want to just share some pictures that were sent to me by viewers of uh, military movements uh, in their area. Here we have a picture from a viewer in California. This was in Fresno, Fresno, California. A viewer said that they pass by this area all the time and they never see this much equipment, military equipment in this uh, lot here. You can see uh, Humvees and various types of trucks here. And uh, we also have another viewer from uh, Georgia sending me, I'm sorry, uh, Florida, Gainesville, Florida on I-75 spotted uh, multiple flatbed trailers with armored personnel carriers on them. Okay, so here's two of them right here. And I uh, want to just update you guys on the situation in Turkey. A, a U.S. fighter jet shot down a Turkish drone because that drone was attacking uh, Kurdish fighters. And we know the Kurds are allies of the United States. They always have been. And Turkey is a NATO country, so it's like one NATO country uh, shooting down the drone of another NATO country. It's a very weird situation, but they basically shot this drone down here. You can see some of the uh, remnants of it here. It looks like a wing right there. Um, and so basically the U.S. said that they shot it down because uh, apparently there were U.S. forces that had to take cover in bunkers in northeastern Syria because these drones were pounding northeastern Syria, and they were concerned that U.S. forces would, um, you know, be affected, you know, potentially injured, um, you know, but whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's just the official story, okay? Uh, the official story is that U.S. troops had to take shelter in bunkers because the uh, strikes from these drones were just half a mile away from their base, um, but I personally believe the U.S. took this drone down to basically scare Erdogan and Turkey and basically tell Turkey to back off, you know, kind of uh, tell Turkey, listen, you know, we're not going to let you, uh, you know, bombard the, the Kurds with without any consequence. And I think this was just like a warning that, you know, hey, we can shoot down all of your drones if we want to. Um, we also have some breaking news coming out of Taiwan. Apparently, the world's third highest wind gust was recently recorded during Typhoon Konu's uh, landfall on southern Taiwan, a wind gust of 342 kilometers per hour or 213 miles per hour was recorded on Orchid Island. And this is the strongest wind gust ever recorded in Asia and the third strongest wind gust ever recorded on Earth. So just wanted to give you guys this update. Two nuclear bombers airborne this afternoon. Very, very unusual. Uh, tensions are extremely high. Okay. And uh, I will be going live at 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And I will have a special guest. Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming is going to join us. And we're going to discuss current events and all these things that are happening. So check that out. Uh, other than that, take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps, prepare, practice, and persevere.